Hi everyone, it's Teresa. Today I'm going to show you three ways to paint laser cut um, elements. Any of these wooden laser cut elements, I'm also going to show you how to paint elements that have engraved um, details on them. So what you would need is either or. Okay, so you can either paint with a brush. This is a nice um, soft flat brush you can paint with a sponge so you can buy these craft sponges or you can just cut up a kitchen sponge or you can paint with a brayer now this is the best way to paint these ones with the engraved um, details but I'll show you uh, a trick that you can use your brush uh, your sorry your sponge as well so let's get going so I'm gonna do all of them white it's just easier for me to demo all in one color brush straightforward only thing with a brush that you need to remember is if you don't want brush strokes you need to do a very soft brush so i'm going to put paint on the brush i'm going to go keep going in one direction and you will get some brush strokes because this is a very um, smooth surface that you are painting on okay but you can see the more I go over this and the more I just brush 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 almost with a dry brush because all the paint is almost off the brush you will see that most of the brush marks will disappear okay and then I'm just gonna go in the other direction and do that bit and again once all the paint is off the brush I'm just gonna keep brushing and keep brushing and that will take away most of my brush strokes and also you do want to keep the layer very thin like that now I've got finger marks there but as you can see they're very easy to fix just keep brushing with almost a dry brush because all the paint is already on the the little wooden cut out so almost no brush strokes there so that's with a paintbrush okay so that's going to go in the water now we're going to do a sponge which is my favorite way of painting these because you get a super thin super even layer so i'm going to take my sponge i'm going to go into the paint Sorry, there is a lot of fiber on my workstation. There we go. That is with a sponge. And you will notice that there is a lot less texture with this one. I hope you can see that. And then also this one is a lot thinner and more even then with the brush. So this is my favorite way of painting these laser cutouts is with the sponge. Okay. And then the other other method I want to show you is with the brayer. Now, if you don't have a brayer, don't worry, you can use any of the other techniques. So with a brayer, you just need a palette to work on. It can be a paper plate. It can be a piece of uh, plastic, like a transparency or something. You're going to load your brayer. So I'm not going back and forth. I'm pushing and lifting up, pushing and lifting up until there's paint all over the brayer. And then I'm going to brayer the paint in all directions onto this element. I need a little bit more paint. Need to be a little bit more paint on the brayer. There we go. There we go. So you might get a little bit of a texture because my brayer wasn't exactly clean. So the texture is actually from dry paint that's on the brayer. But if you are diligent and wash your brayers, you won't have a problem. So there we go. Three ways to paint just um, your normal stock standard laser cut wooden elements. And now I'm going to show you 
this one where a lot of times you have laser cut elements that have these um, engravings onto them. So if you paint that with a paintbrush, you're going to cover it. With the sponge, there is you can use the sponge and you won't cover it as much if you go very lightly over it, like literally putting the sponge 90 degrees on the little wooden cutout and wiping very gently in one direction. But the best way is to paint with the brayer. And we're just going to go with the brayer. With the brayer you want to turn your piece and go in more than one direction. And there we go. There's our little wooden element painted and the engraving is still visible. Now you can do this in any color. You can do this with metallics. Any acrylic paint will work. I do love the deco art because it dries matte, but that is all up to you um, and which color you would like to paint it. So there we go. Any questions, pop them in the comments and I will happily help you. Have a lovely day.